on this episode of Pawn Stars. Bill told me I was coming to look at a rat rod. I didn't know how ratty it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you could catch tetanus from it. My buddy Bill called me, told me that there's a customer down here with a rat rod for sale, so I came down to check it out. Okay. Bill told me I was coming to look at a rat rod. I didn't know how ratty it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> My rat rod, my partner and I built, hand fabricated everything on it. I'm selling the rat rod for $17.5. If I get the full price on this car, I've got 20 cars already in line that I've got plenty of plans for, and they're going to get crazier than this one. All right, man, so tell me about it from front to back. Uh, 1927 Essex Super 6. We found it in South Dakota. It's been sitting in an open field since 1943. All the headlights are made out of pails and buckets. Anheuser-Busch uh, beer keg, aluminum gas tank. The tunnel is made out of an old aluminum trash can. License plates for the floors. Nice cassette deck. State of the art. <laughs> uh, it's got the anti-theft device where we've got uh, the knives over here. Um, good idea. <laughs> just a little. You know, it actually drives pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Rat rods are kind of similar to hot rods. They just look like piles of junk but they intentionally look like piles of junk. It's a weird thing. You know, these cars started off with people that, you know, they couldn't afford a really nice expensive hot rod and this is what they ended up with. And then now you become part of tattoo culture, it's become part of biker culture. They all have that rusted, patinaed look, the not finished. Uh, I think the oil drum for the hood is kind of funny. <laughs> all right, so tell me, man, what are you looking to get out of it? Well, uh, it's worth 17.5. Says who? The Rat Rod Blue Book? I... <laughs> uh, the closest thing I could find has been another Essex rod. Uh, wasn't as crazy as this one. It actually sold for 27. I'll tell you what. Do you mind if I drive it? Check it out. Just make sure you take the uh, anti theft device off first. <laughs> for sure. I think it's clearly obvious I need to test drive this car. I mean, it looks like you could catch tetanus from it. If you look at it, I mean, let's just make sure a wheel doesn't fall off down the road. My buddy Bill called me up and said that there was a guy down here with a rat rod he wanted to sell. I figured I'd take it for a test drive and see how it goes. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Pleasantly surprised. Actually drove well, it turned well. Um, you know, there wasn't very many problems I could say as far as driving the vehicle goes. Definitely not as bad as I thought it would be. Well good, you made it back in one piece. I know that these kind of cars are pretty hot right now. And if I get it for the right price, it should be an easy sell. Refresh my memory, man. What were we asking for this thing? 17.5. I can't give you 17.5 for it, my man. It's just, uh, it's not there to me. It's definitely cool, and, and I totally get the rat rod thing, and I get it's supposed to look like this. I'm not even sweating the body part of it. I think, realistically, I could probably sell it for 15. I'd offer you 11. Well, I am motivated to sell, but, you know, I can't give it away, and 11 wouldn't work. Everything about it is, is pretty unusual. All the engineering is, is quite unique for this vehicle. My bottom, bottom, bottom line would be 15. I can do 13. That's the most I can go, though. Yeah, I, I, I guess I'll take 13. 13? All right, deal. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what, um, you get it down to the shop, and uh, we'll do some paperwork there and get it all taken care of, right? All right, cool. All right, appreciate it. I'll meet you down there. Thanks.